Say, Jim. I just had a long talk with Mr. Pritchett, and uh, he's willing to drop the charges. He is. What's this about, Mr. Pritchett? I I'd like to give the boy another chance. To steal from someone else? Well, I, would I wouldn't want this on my conscience. Suppose he commits a worse crime. What about your conscience then, Mr. Pritchett? I'll gamble. I'm a gambler. I, I bet on horses. At this once, I bet on a human being. You stick to horses. The percentage is better. Now, just a minute, Jim. I advise Mr. Pritchett to do this. You had no right to do that, Lou. This is my case. You know better. I didn't think you'd mind. Jim. Well, I do. Well, I'm sorry. But you said that everything would be all I right. made a mistake. It's his case. The disposition of it is up to him. Well, if everybody I'm sorry, this... girl. You've got to leave me out of this. It's his case. Take it up with him. Mr. McLeod, I'm going to return the money. If Mr. Pritchett... Young lady, this isn't a civil case. This is a criminal action. Jim, take a look at this sheet on Charlie. One second, Mr. Pritchett. So you didn't done it, Charlie? No. No, my mother's great. And you never been in jail? Hey, I dropped it. What do you guys want from me? <laughs> Heartbreaking, isn't it? <laughs> These are your fingerprints, Charlie. They never lie. <laughs> Burglary, eight arrests, two assaults, three muggings, one rape, two homicides, five extortions, one prison break. Nice little sheet, Charlie. He's a four-time loser. If he makes one false move, hit him over the head. Book him and bring him back here for the inspector. And book that bum, too. You got a cigarette. What do you want, room service? Well, it's the Green Light Hotel, ain't it? Uh, Take them away. <laughs> <laughs> job, we brought in two boys caught stealing from a car. They looked like babies. They cried. I let them go. Two nights later, two nights, one of them held up a butcher in Harlem, shot him through the head and killed him. Yes, I made a mistake, and I'm not going to make it again. But, officer... Young you... lady, I don't want to discuss this with you. Don't talk to her like Shut up! Shut up! When you're dealing with a criminal mind, Mr. Pridget, Softness is dangerous. But if it's a first offense... It's never a first offense. It's just the first time they get caught. Why are you so vicious? I'm not vicious, young lady. I didn't steal this man's money. He did. Look, this is a war, Mr. Pritchett. We're your army. We're here to protect you. But you civilians are too lazy or selfish or scared or just too indifferent to even want to appear in court and see the charges through that you yourselves bring. But if I get paid... I don't care about that. This is a criminal action. Are you or aren't you going through with it? Because I'm not going to let him go. If I don't bring charges... Then I'll book him anyway and subpoena you into court. Well, it's I... my duty to protect you in spite of yourself. I guess I've got to leave it up to you, officer. Whatever you say. I say prosecute. All right. You know best. I'm sorry, miss. But he had no right to rob me in the first place. That was a terrible thing to do. All right, Mr. Pritchett, we won't take up any more of your time. Now, here's the address. We'll see you in court tomorrow morning at 10. 